Good morning, Tristan. Long time no hear. Uh, this, uh, I just finished watching your video, Automation and Social Structure, which uh, I'm sure you know hits on uh, a topic that has been at the top of my mind for quite some time. Uh, <clears throat> Uh, reading and listening to Ray Kurzweil and uh, uh, when I read The Engines of Creation years and years and years ago, uh, I was thinking of these issues as well. Uh, <clears throat> the whole zeitgeist movement, movement today is all about that and what we need to do to move society forward and, and, and all that. Uh, I for some time in the past was bemoaning the fact that uh, my wife and I run a massage center and it just doesn't make a lot of money. Uh, I have changed my opinion on that. Uh, from what I can see in automation and uh, future technology, massage therapy will be around uh, this much longer than doctors and nurses and other things that will be automated <clears throat> slightly before uh, us. So uh, I will have employment uh, probably right up to the end of needing employment. And uh, I have been keeping track of robotics. Uh, and once a robotic massage therapist becomes available, uh, I will do my best to invest in a couple of those in a few of my rooms or a couple of my rooms uh, to see if how that goes. I'm sure it'll go well. Some people will want that. Some people won't. So that'll be a, a slow change. But at least I'm in a, a, a career or in a position uh, as an owner to advance with some technology and, and kind of hold on to some uh, of the old school thought in in working and earning money. Uh, but I'd like to get out of that soon and move into not needing to work anymore and just doing what I enjoy doing, which is less and less massage. The longer you do something, the less you're going to really like it, uh, at least for me. Uh, I was also uh, contemplating or adding into these thoughts uh, video game structures uh, that are coming about. Um, what was it? Uh, Second Life, people were making a lot of money making widgets and gadgets. Uh, there's a new game coming out at the end of this year at some point called Star Citizen, <clears throat> where you earn in-game credits for doing jobs like uh, cargo hauling and uh, medic or ambulance or you know, services in game and when money is no longer real or an option and you need some way or we will need some way of exchange uh, to show additional value I suppose uh, right off the top I think everybody at uh, a very near time in the future should be guaranteed a certain amount of income every month enough to provide basic housing, basic transportation, food, clothing, just basic life. <clears throat> and anyone that's doing above and beyond that, of course, will get more stuff or have more influence or, or there'll be a way to have a hierarchy. Because I think humans in general appreciate a hierarchy. Uh, uh, some people having more stuff and other people aspiring to have more stuff. Status. We're a very status-driven species. Uh, <clears throat> so we'll need to have some other way to differentiate our contributions to society. Because there are only a limited amount of penthouse suites in New York City. So if you want that, if that is your goal, which I think is also going to change, uh, People want that right now to show status because they make so much money they can afford a downtown apartment and be amongst the shakers and movers. <clears throat> Still early, sorry. 
but in an economy <clears throat> or a social structure without the need to work, <clears throat> the need for money, I, I'm going to predict that people wanting a downtown apartment will drop, or at least for the reasons that they want it now. Uh, I, I know, I, I imagine a lot of people want downtown apartments, get downtown New York to be amongst the people that can make the money and and the contacts. Once you don't have to necessarily have money, I think that's going to shift. But with the uh, <clears throat> Star Citizen, I'm I'm kind of wondering if we couldn't move towards that. Not necessarily just doing a uh, a fuel run in a video game and earning more credits in real life. But digital contributions, social contributions, uh, providing services, doing YouTube videos, and providing content that people enjoy, much like celebrity status, but only reduce that down to, instead of having to be Hugh Jackman and being able to afford a house, you can be <clears throat> you or I and talk about topics and and move social ideas forward and and earn some some form of credit like a, a up vote will get you a certain amount of credits because someone appreciated your contribution because a stuff is no longer going to be an issue in the near future uh, land is always going to be an issue so dividing that up uh, but I think that's going to be less of an issue also in, in the future. So predicting social advancements is going to be very weird. Because right now people want, or there's some people that want a giant property with a mansion on it and a pool and, and all of this luxury. And I believe a lot of it has to do with status. And that's what you believe you need, or people believe they need to have in order to be rich and influential. If you have this bling, then you have status and influence. And I don't, I'm, I'm, I'm betting that we'll move away from that. And we'll have less gold teeth and chains and Ferraris and Bentleys and uh, swimming pools with whatever. We'll move away from that. I've already moved away from that. I never really cared about it. Uh, I would never want a Lamborghini, a, 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 a Tesla X when that comes out. That would be cool, but for not for status reasons necessarily. I don't. I don't care how much it costs. If it was two dollars, I would still want one because of its functionality and its novelty. So I think our views, society's views on what real status is. And it has been slowly changing. Uh, you get these guys that are what they call rolling coal, where they think it's super cool to tune their exhaust so they just blow shitloads of, of pollution out of their stovepipes uh, and their big trucks and think that's cool and manly because they're just burning fossil fuel, whereas having a Prius, a little electric car, or something like that is nerdy and gay and whatever else. You you, you can't pick up any chicks in the little tiny <clears throat> bug car. Well, Tesla has shown that that's just ridiculous. A Tesla will flat stomp any other car out there. Pretty much. So... As a society, we're, we're I, I do see that we're slowly moving away from the ridiculous social statuses, the the Hummers, uh, four by fours. There's still going to be people that enjoy doing that uh, because they enjoy doing it, not for necessarily the status, but people that want to like drive in mud and 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 push their machines. And I, I'm I'm sure there's still going to be a lot of that. Uh, I wouldn't want that to stop. But doing it at your neighbors, I think, is going to stop or, or lessen quite a bit. Uh, so I'm hoping that in the very near future, uh, we're going to decide, uh, like some other countries have, that everybody gets a basic living amount of money, credits, exchange value. And then if you want to push, 
See, that would be the socialism point of it. Uh, everybody should have the, the resources to live and have a nice life. Because uh, we're already, we, nobody should have to live in a grass hut uh, it, with polluted water. And, well, the grass hut's not bad, but polluted water and, and lack of food. We, we have enough food to feed and clothe and house everyone, have medical coverage for everyone. We, we're just there. We've been there for quite some time, and we're only getting more advances to get us there further. <clears throat> so there's no reason we need to have the poverty that we do. But there's also, we also can't have, at this point, everybody living like the Jetsons or in giant mansions. So there's going to have to be a way to, for one, phase that out, because it's silly. And, and two, people that want that or have the drive that or seem to to only be able to get an erection if they have an 80-foot swimming pool and a Hummer uh, to allow them to have that or allow them to be able to achieve that. And uh, I think the key is changing our value system and not... trying to figure out a way to get people to earn it, but change our value system so that we all have <clears throat> as much as we can. And I'm talking out of my ass now. <laughs> Good to see you posting videos again, man.